cut it like glass. An alternative would be to just take some thin plywood like this and and cut it. But I thought it would be sort of cooler to have a clear plate. So I um, measured uh, 12 centimeters over, which is the distance, uh, the, the same size as the fan. And I drew a line with a Sharpie on... Um, the, the stuff is not actually blue. That's a blue plastic sheet, protective sheet on it. So I drew a line with a Sharpie. And then you're supposed to go over it with this knife that you get when you buy the the uh, plastic and like I say just you know just use wood if uh, if that's all you got you score it a whole bunch of times which I didn't show and then you you supposedly uh, can snap it along that line now the longer the line is the harder it is and I obviously don't have the right equipment here so um, but I did manage to snap it along the line I I most of the line that I drew here and um, I was able to get um, uh, a 12 inch, or excuse me, 12 centimeter piece. The end wasn't uh, uh, good, so I had to cut that off. So here I'm scoring it. These little pieces actually are much easier to work with. You score it maybe uh, 10 times and then and then just, just snap it off. And usually um, these little ones, they break pretty, pretty easily. Um, and uh, so I was able to get uh, Actually, I'm making more than one of these stir plates, um, so uh, I made quite a few of these uh, 12 centimeter square um, uh, little little plastic things. And uh, we'll uh, score another one here. You got to go over it quite a few times in order for it to to uh, to uh, to work. But I cut that out, and then pop it. It's supposed to break like, sort of like glass, except for that it's, I don't have the right equipment. And then you can peel that plastic off there if you, um, once you get done with your project. So here is fitting onto the fan. Um, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to tape it on. I'm not going to show you all the tapes, but I, I, I'm just basically taping it um, four sides so that it won't move when I'm drilling it because I want to just basically drill through the existing fan holes and um, I use an 11 64th bit to drill through um, so I get all those taped on there I put it on a piece of plywood so that I don't mess up my desk and I just drill through um, the, uh, the existing holes and pop through. I'm not going to show you every hole here, but you get the idea. All four corners. And uh, once we have, um, oh yeah, I wanted to mention that uh, this you got to sort of take it easy. You don't want to crack this stuff because you know that took a long time to get that square cut. And so you just got to really be gentle with this on the corners so that it doesn't crack the the plastic. So now that the holes are drilled, I'll remove the tape and I want to do a countersinking bit here so that the uh, screws will will be flush and not sticking above and so I've got uh, uh, a countersinking bit on there and pushing in gently so that I don't crack um, the uh, plastic and this shows you how the screw sort of sits in there with its head just below the surface so that uh, you don't uh, have a problem when you you know slide something on the plate um, here I'm doing another corner and uh, you get the idea I'm not going to show you all four corners but uh, I'll do it on all four corners and uh, then I'm ready to uh, to assemble the unit another corner here so putting the thing together I basically got these screws and uh, uh, bolts actually and little nuts and uh, just push them, push them through there and spin the washers on, or excuse me, the nuts on there. I didn't uh, bother to tighten them any more than finger tight. It just seemed like uh, that would be fine um, to do. Uh, just uh, put them all in there. And uh, then I took this, uh, this uh, temporary sort of gummy stuff that you're supposed to stick uh, stuff on the wall with. And I used that to mount the magnets. Now the reason I did that instead of glue was because I didn't know exactly how far apart to put them. So um, 
I wanted to I wanted to be able to experiment, and so I used the the um, the uh, this gummy stuff to uh, I guess it's called Bostic Blue Tack, or you could find an equivalent or something like that. But uh, it's it's just enough to get the uh, magnets stuck onto the fan uh, so that I can. Uh, change the distance between them. I ended up taking it apart several times to adjust the magnets and <laughs> to remove that blue film which I didn't want on there in the first place. I forgot about it. So here you see sort of there's a spacing between the the plate, the top plate there, the top table and the magnets and so they don't rub. That's what I was trying to show there. Uh, now I'm putting this upside down and I'm putting the nuts on the bottom. The the bolts are actually just going to be little little legs to stand on. As you see here, it's just standing up off the table a little bit. The air is going to be sort of pulled in under the table and then blown out uh, down onto down below. Um, here's the stir uh, a stick magnetic stirring bar. It's um, it's an inch. Uh, it's um, about five bucks on eBay. Um, and uh, I'm putting it into the flask here and setting the flask onto the stir plate and you can see the magnet sort of jump into the center there and uh, now I'm going to plug it in uh, and there we have it it's uh, spinning in the stir plate there and, uh, and just for effect I'll zoom in here and uh, let's see, I think I turn off the lights. <laughs> uh, the fan is sort of goofy with those little LEDs, but you know, it's uh, it's sort of fun. Um, so uh, the blue film had to come off, so I could take the top one off easy enough. But <laughs> when I tried to take it off um, without taking it apart, that didn't work. So I ended up taking the whole thing apart to uh, remove the blue film. But it's not too much trouble to uh, to to uh, take apart. And here I put it back together again. And now this is the way it sort of looks in its final state. You can see the magnets. They are um, they are 1.4 uh, yeah 1.4 centimeters apart. I found was a good distance, and um, it, that way the magnet doesn't jump around too much. Um, doesn't uh, uh, pop off because if, if if they're the wrong the wrong distance they will the, the magnet will, will pop off yeah so uh, there's the fan and I'll unplug it here and you can see that those um, magnets are 1.4 centimeters apart